YouTube, this is Team Cave Clash, Logan here, and today we're doing a deck profile on another Endymion deck. This one's more of a mythical beast variant. I took inspiration from the Team Six Samurai video. Um, stuff that he says is pretty good, but this is basically the same thing, but I don't play with like three sloths or anything. Just so, yeah, um. I've been playtesting it on Dueling Nexus, etc, and I find this build really good. I just prefer the Guard Dragon one probably more, just because more combos to deal with, but yeah. Um, I probably won't do a Zephyr one, because I just don't have the cards, and I don't really feel like getting the cards, but if I do end up getting the cards, I will be doing the profile. So let's begin with the profile, so you play off three of the boss monster. He's a scale 8, negator, and he destroys as much monsters on the field that there are monsters that can have spell counters when you special them from scale. So it's really, really good when he dies, I believe. He can add one normal spell card from your deck to your hand. So it's really, really good. So I play three of those. I play three Magister of Endymion. He's exceptionally good. When he's in the scale, gains three counters. You can special summon this guy from the scale and one from the extra deck. So that's really, really good. And when it's your opponent's turn, you can remove three counters on him when he's on the monster zone. And then you can special summon one from the. You can special summon one monster from on their turn. So that's really, really good. Puts on the pressures, more negates. The best one, three servant. Uh, when there's three counters on her, special summon her from the scale. Then special summon one monster from the uh, deck that can hold spell counters. So you can choose your jackals or your... Or the boss monster. But I preferably will just go for the jackal. Yeah, my own target's probably be jackal and the boss monster at this point. So I find this card really good. Its other effect is that... When it has a spell counter, oh, you can discard one card, then place a spell counter on a card that you control, so it's really good. So you can discard your Endemians or your spear cards and put protection on your boss monster. And if it's destroyed, you can place, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can put it back into the scale. So it just has a recursion type of thing going on. So it's really, really good. It's a low scale too. Then I play with... Three Cerberus and three Jackal King. And then two Beast Jackal and one of the best one, Garuda. So everyone should know at this point what Cerberus and Jackal does. If not, Cerberus gets Jackal, Jackal summons Cerberus. Same thing we'll all play with these two, but with them, Cerberus will get that. Cerberus can get that. Jackal can special one of these from the extra. I'm pretty sure. So when this card's on the scale, uh, you can... Uh, if Yeah, if this is the only card on the scale, you can take it, you can take it a face cap card and give it a counter. And this one, uh, you can destroy one spell and trap card on the field. I know that. Um, these, everyone should know their normal effects of. This one negates, this one... Banishes and gains attack. Um, Garuda actually has an exceptionally good effect. Remove three counters from it. And say that your opponent you're facing against a mirror match pendulum deck. They go to pendulum summon. You can remove three special him and return them all to the hand. So it's really, really good. I find that really broken for a card that was never really played. And like beforehand in the magician pendulum magician format well i didn't see it get played so and yeah so this one just returns most of they when they get special to the hand so it's so pendulum summons they all happen at once so they all go back and this one is when the spell card is activated plus a spell card on it and you can remove three from the field tribute the scan special on one mythical beast from the deck that's also pretty good so Say that you just have this, you normal it, 
they can be your normal summon per se. Then you scale this counter. Then just start off with your plays, activate, counter, counter, spell card. And you've already got three counters on this. Tribute it off. Get out Jackal. So it's really, really good. Then I just play a three Dark Worm and the Donut. Just standard. Then I'll play off two Curtain Razors. I might play a three. Three. I see that, that Team Samurai fella doesn't play three. Oh, he does play three now, but he was playing two. But I feel like two's better. I play off two Chronographs and one of them Pentai Magician. This is the only reason I play two Chronos, is because I only got two. Keep that in mind. I would definitely play three. Only... I, it feels weird only playing two. I hate playing only two. But I will be playing three. Don't you worry. And then, this is my Amorphage lineup at the moment. Sloth, Goliath, and Lutri. Imperial Order, uh, Colossus Effect, and Mass Hero Dark Laws. Pen all those are all their pendulum effects. So Imperial Order, Colossus, and Dark Law. Can't special from the extra deck. Uh, when this card's for someone, need to play can special summon monsters from the extra deck, extra deck, and extra deck. So that's really really good. So when I was playing today during the sneak peek sneak peek the sneak peek event, I played down Leechery on a Scout Servant player. He couldn't play. I put this and Sloth is just really really good in general, just against like some matches, like a matchup we match against this. And Goliath is just really, really good because when you are facing like decks like um, Skull Servant or what else, uh, Salmon Greats, these guys are really, really put in the work. Sky Striker matchup, Leechery, Sloth for them, and that's GG. They can't really, they will not be able to play. Then for those spells, I play off three spell power mastery just to your searching to search any Endymion card. And usually with this, you'll just search out for the Endymion Servants, or the Boss Monster, two Desires, just to get to your combo pieces better, more quick. Upstart, Dragon Shrine, and Foolish, just for your Dark Worms, and the reason I play Foolish is just because it's a free draw, plus a spell counter, so it's a plus one in this deck, it's definitely a plus one, plus two-ish, I could, yeah. And then three Call by the Grave, because I play with no hand traps, and we're reliant on getting off our combos. So, play off that. Now for the extra. This is really just... Oh, let me just quickly... The same extra deck as I had on my other profile for the Guard Dragons. So, Electrum. Because it's Electrum, Brawlode, Lamb, Fragacus, whatever his name is, Zephyr, Metatron. Uh, the three Guard Dragons. You can literally just play anything and then these guys... Literally can just play anything. Like, you can just toss all this and just play off just like this. But yeah, the inspiration is from Team Six Samurai. So if you guys haven't checked his video, go check his video out. He's got he makes some good points and stuff about the deck. But in the end, I think I'll just stick to the Guard Dragon variant when I get the rest of my cards. Like Skull, this is meant to be Skull Yuja, so. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Um, I think, yeah, we'll do like a couple of hand plays off. Just to show you guys what the deck's like. Uh, so, there. Cut the deck. And then just draw five. One, two... Four, five. See, this is not really a bad hand. It's not a good hand, but it's nor bad. I would definitely prefer a bit a bit more different than this, like change to something else, but let's see what we can do with it. So I would probably start off with this. So that's one. Go two for effect. 
And let's just say they ask you or try to ask you, you get caught by the grass, so that's two. Because everyone, we are just expect that they, they, they have the chances to stop us, okay? Add back the don't, add the donut. And then we'll scale said donut. Yeah, we'll scale the donut. Special her. Effect. Special jackal. So that's one negate. So, dark worm, servant, jackal. Link those off. Electrum. Electrum effect. Oh, what am I doing? Those are meant to be over there. Then we use Jacko, uh, his effect to go grab the eight. Now, in this situation, we'll literally just go scale. Effect to pop. Add this guy. Then we'll shuffle just to see what our draw would be. I'm only just going to do one combo with this to draw. This is a perfect draw. Activate. And then activate this. To add, I'm just gonna probably just grab the boss monster if I've got a spear one. I don't. Oh, I do. Let's just go with the boss monster again. But keep in mind, this guy. Oh, the guy I did send to the grave. Like, this guy can. It will be most likely a jackal if you're properly playing. You'll send this, send the jackal to, so you have two negates, plus this dude, plus the dudes in hand. So, actually, yeah, we'll just go, we'll just keep playing like how it is. So I added him. Then we just pin summon. One, two, three. And there you go, you got three of the boss monsters out, plus the jackal. But, like, with some shenanigans, you can go, like, into Zephyr, etc. and so forth. So, yeah. So, that's the deck profile, plus a little combo that wasn't really that great. It wasn't optimal, like, how you know, it should be. Should Realistically, you should be grabbing the Jackal King, trying to go for the two negate, one bouncer type of deal. But I'm just trying to make this quick, so I, I, I have enough time. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned, I'll be doing a box opening of Neo Storm probably in the next couple of weeks, and a uh, combo video of my Guard Dragon. So, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and if there is a notification bell, turn that on. And shout outs to Team Six Samurai for his inspiration for his deck profile. And see you guys.